Evening all, Rich here, back for part 6 of this SS Rotterdam tutorial. And today we're going to be focusing on the masts, funnels, um, some other bits along the way that I can't think of right, right off the top of my head, but uh, we'll focus on them <laughs> nonetheless. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll start with the first mast first on the uh, top of the ship's wheelhouse. So we're going to go to the front centre block of the ship's wheelhouse, and I've not got my notes written down, I've got them over here, bear with me. There we go. Right, there we are. Got my notes ready. So we're going to go to the center, uh, front center block of the wheelhouse, which is down here. And we're going to go to the, uh, or back to the front of the raised section. So you're going to go basically fifth block back to the raised section there. And then on that raised section, you're going to count back to the seventh block back. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the seventh block, we'll put a block. So that's our center block of what will be the mast. And what you want to do then is build back one like that. So it's two in length. And then to the side you want two, hang on, you want, so you want one, and then you want one out, sorry, so it's so the centre block plus one back, and then one out, either side, and then two out, either side, so it's like that, so it's one, two, two, or one, two, like that, and then back two, one, two, and back one, two there, and then two again, one, two, one, two, and two again, one, two, so it's sort of a symmetrical design all the way around, you can sort of see it's two, two, two out the sides, and then three, two, two, like that. So it's, you sort of get the idea, it's sort of symmetrical all the way around, minus one block on the sides. But that's how it should be anyway. So that's your design. And then what you want to do then, on the centre, front centre, you want to go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then behind that, go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight again. Uh, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four, one, two, three, four, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. So that's the front of your ma of your mast, and uh, I think that's how it should be. And then what you want to do is go down to the outside, or not to the outside, but the next row along. So we've done the centre, then you go out to the next two rows along. So you go to this row and to that row there. From there, you want to build up uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. So that's one side. I do the other side quick as well. So it's up the seven, and then the two rows of eight. So it's eight like that, and then eight like that. So there we are. That's both sides done. And then for the next row along, which is the outside, this block here, you're going to build up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's as far as you want to go with the outside. I do the other side quickly. So it's the seven and then the eight. Like that. So that's both sides done like that. And now what we want to do now is go to the back centre of the mast, which is this point here. And from there uh, we're going to go up 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then in front of that up 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, and that's it, I think. Don't need to go any further. So I see. Mm. So we'll go with that anyway. Go up to 14, and then for the next row along, which is the next block here, you go up 14 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then up 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. And then the next row along, which is the, the outside edge you just go up 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 like that so that's one side done it should look something like that so I just fill in the gap here on the side I'll do the other side in a minute and sort that out but uh, that's how that should be and then uh, from that 14 on the center bag we can actually go up another 1 2 3 3 like that to connect into the back end like that so then it, it looks like that sort of like a, a fancy office tower um, like that. So I just do the other side quickly. So it's basically just eight, uh, fourteens and eights. So fourteen up there, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the fourteen on the back. One, two, three, four. Blah 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 to fourteen there, and then I fill in the gap down here, and there we go. So that's the mast all filled in, and that's how it should look. Nothing special, nothing fancy, but that is a mast nonetheless. So what we do now is go to the top. And third block down from the top, we're going to add a few white slabs outwards. So one, two, three, four slabs out. 
one, two, three, four out that way. So that's that. And then we're going to add a few, a uh, few, um, oh, what are they, platforms. So we we'll go down, so sort of go down, one, two, three, four, five, hang on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve down from the top. We'll add a platform, so we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, like that. So it just builds a, a platform on the top, like that. And then I was trying to see, go down about another ten, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and do the same again. So forward two, forward two, or forward three this time, and then one on the front. So you got another platform there. And uh, that's pretty much it for that, for the platforms at least. So you can get your handrails, which is a little detail which we can add to this. Add handrails around the platforms. Like that, and the same with the one above. There we go, there's the platforms. And then the little um, radar antennas, we can go down roughly halfway between the two platforms. So I'll go out, go forward two, and then up one like that. And then with the slabs, just go out one, and out one there like that. So it's sort of a that would be the spinny thing, that uh, the little radar or so, not sonar radar in it. So that is uh, that little bit of detail done there. And then on the back of the mast, we add a couple of prongs which stick out, sort of like uh, mandibles on an ant. So I go from this top center block here of the 14. So center 14 on the back, just build out. Uh, three rows of two, so out one, two, one, two, one, two. Same the other side, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And there you go. There's those two prongs like that. And I know I've not explained that very well, but you sort of get an idea if you look at it how it's meant to look. And uh, that is the forward mast. It does give the ship a bit more identity as you look on the prototype. And it's not too bad. I think it's slightly different to the prototype one, but that's no big deal because remember it's one improvisation. So yeah, that's the mast done. So what we want to do now is go behind the mast and add a bit more detail to the roof up here. Now this is sort of a raised platform. It could double up as a shed, but I don't know, it's probably too big for a shed. So we're going to go uh, about three blocks back from the mast. So what? Pardon me, we've got hiccups now. So one, two, three back. Then we're going to build five rows of nine wide. So it's centre block, and then one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And then double that in height to two blocks high like that. So it's nine wide like that, two blocks high. And it's, it's basically going to be a shed, I think. I'm not sure if it is a shed or a, a, a small deck house. But anyway, build it nine wide, two blocks high. Then the sides are four. One, two, three, four. And then double that in height. Same the other side. One, two, three, four. Double that in height. And then we go back in... Uh, I was trying to think actually, we go back in one, two, three, double that in height, and the same the other side, one, two, three, double that in height, like that. and then the sides again, we're going to build back from there, uh, four, no, five, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, then double that in height, like that, so it looks something like that, and then what we want to do then is build outwards two, I think. No, build out three again. So one, two, three, double that in height. Out again, one, two, three, double that in height. And then back, what is it? Back four, one, two, three, four, double that in height. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, double that in height. And then across the back. There we go. So that's the, sort of the deck house you want. Sort of like a, a big H, if you like, or a fat I. Depends on when you look at it, and that's how it should be. And if you want to add the roof, you can just use slabs. Because there's, there's sort of a deck house, but I don't know if it actually is a deck house. I'm just adding it as sort of uh, random detail. But this is how I've done it on the prototype anyway. So just add the roof to this, whatever this thing is. And uh, we can be okay with that. There's a bit of detail to go on the roof in a minute, but we'll sort that out in a minute. There we 
we go. There's that detail roof thing added there. Can't really see it very well because it's blending in with the background, but I'll show you it's there, whatever it is. And then roughly halfway along, or yeah, halfway along the length of it, we can cut one slab away and put a little red mast in of five high. One, two, three, four, five like that. And then three blocks back from there. One, two, three. One, two, three, sorry. We can, or fourth back, sorry. We can... Uh, cut a three wide gap like so by two blocks so, or basically three by three in red and then replace that with blocks red blocks like so and then slope that up sort of like that and that's basically the detail of this thing whatever whatever it is I don't know what it is but that's the detail that goes on it and uh, that's that so you got a, 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 an I or H shaped building with a few red bits on and there's nothing really more else to explain so I'll we'll leave it at that, <laughs> and just marvel at what we've done. And uh, yeah, what we can do now is to do a jump cut and work out what to do next. So I shall return in just a moment. Right, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the middle deck house and sort out the details for that. So just fly over to the top of it, and to the front end of it actually. So the front top deck house here, um, not the middle deck house, but the top of it. Uh, we're going to go to the fourth block back on the front. So here's the front. Go to the fourth block back on the wood. So one, two, three, four. And we want to be three wide. So that's centre block plus two, or well, plus one either side rather. So three wide like that. And then we want two out and then two back on both sides. So it's two out, two back like that. So you've got a sort of that sort of shape. <laughs> and then for the sides we want 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven like that. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like that. Plus 2 on each side, 2 like that. And then 2 again, 2, and then 1 for the centre, like that. And it should, in theory, look something like that. And then what we want to do is double that in height all the way around. So it's 2 blocks high. All the way around, in theory. Like that, so they've got a too high sort of bath tape, sh bath tub sort of shape. And then what you want to do on the front of the three, or on the top of the three here, you go back one and add a row of three across the next row back like that. So you've got a sort of not an overhang, but a sort of uh, a ledge on the front. And then on the side you go back one two, and then one two again, and then you go back. I think it's eleven. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So it's creating a sort of inside deck house and then add two at the end like that so do the same on the other side so it's two back plus the 11 like so and then two at the end plus one like that so it's kind of the same as what you got at the back uh, on the bottom but uh, slightly narrower and then on the top front again we'll add two blocks back in the center like that and then we add uh, I think it's three again like that plus the 11 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten that time. So add ten again. Plus one on the centre like that. So it's basically you're building the deck house up like that sort of thing. So it looks like that. And then just add the top. It's sort of a I don't know an, an elongated pyramid. On the front it looks like that. Kind of like a more like a turd really. You can sort of uh, picture that. <laughs> For a turd from someone who's not been very well. Anyway, on the <laughs> on the centre of that, roughly halfway down the length, sort of that point. So that's roughly about halfway, isn't it? We want to build a little mast, and that mast is uh, ten high. So that's one already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus a top which is black. So we get our black concrete or black whatever you want. And we'll add a black top like that. And there we go. So that's that little middle mast like that. That's marvellous, doesn't it? And then for the sides, we're going to add some extra bits on the side. So on the side of the 11, so this is the front of the 11, go back about four, one, two, three, four, and then build out four, one, two, three, four, plus two, and then two back, two back, and then in three, like that. So it's something like that. And then do the same the other side. So what was it? Fourth back, wasn't it? So two three four out four one two three four two 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 and then three like that and there we go there's a sort of earlugs if you like 
don't know what they're for, but they're on the uh, prototype and they're on the models that I followed, so we'll go with that. Um, and there are more details to go on. I'm just going to fly over to the prototype because I have got things written, or well, things that are on there, but they're not written down, if you know what I mean. And what they are, they are basically lugs. I don't know what they are. You've got the ears there, and you can put handrails around them if you want to, but they're on the. Uh, deck house on the top of the deck house itself there's just basically square white blocks with green on the top but because I'm not using green on this build I'm not going to bother with the tops being green so what we could do then so for, for those blocks we're going to go to the center back of the uh, of the turd if you like and then count out about five so one two three four five and then build back two and two like that and then double that in height so you've got those two lugs like that. They're a bit closer than what they are on the prototype, but that's no big deal. And they do the same on the other side, out five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Build back two, two, and then on top like that. And there you go, there's the details like that. Nothing really special, but, uh, you know, it's a thing. All right, so that's that deck house done there. So what we're going to do now is move on to the third deck house, which is down here. And we're going to build the two funnels. Now this is a, double, a ship with two funnels, okay? So they're both just next to each other. If I just fly over to the prototype, we sort of get an idea of what I'm on about. So there's two funnels side by side, like so, with a ventilation shaft in between. So we've got to do, I'm going to do one funnel on one side, and then we'll copy it over to the other side. Otherwise we'll be here all day. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the front of the deck house we're going to be building on. So here's deck house number three. And we're going to go to the front of that, which is this block here. And on the wood, we're going to count back to the tenth block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I put a, a red block to mark that point. And bear with me, a lag is kicking in, so I just got to wait for that to kick back out. Uh, just waiting for that lag to go away. I think it's gone now. Uh, so well, it's ten, ten back, and then you want to count out to the seventh block. So out to the side seven. Doesn't matter which way, because it's the same on both sides. So it's out seven. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I put a block there. And I do the same on the other side actually, I do seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that one there. So that's where the the front of each funnel will go. So you no longer need the centre block, but I'll leave it there anyway. So it's seven out to the side. So for the funnel, I'm working on the right hand side funnel here, so just bear with me on this one. So the funnel is one block already, and then add another one behind it to make it two. Like that. And then each side you want uh two back, two back. Same the other side, two back, two back like that. So you've got a shape like that. And then you want uh, four, one, two, three, four. Same the other side, one, two, three, four. And then you want two, 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 and then two, two like that. So it's basically symmetrical design. The front is the same as the back, so you should have a design like that. So that's the base of your first funnel. I'll do the same with the other funnel. I just do the base for this one, so it's one back plus two, two there, two, two like that, and then the four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then the two, 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 and there we go. There's the other funnel. So you get the two funnels in place like that. It kind of looks like a happy face without a smile, or you could call that the smile down there. So that's how it looks from above. So you get your two eyes in place there. If you turn it up the other way, you've got a weird looking skull. Either way, that's that's the design you want. So that's the two funnel placements. So for the funnel build, back to the right hand side one, uh, we're going to build it up. So we're going to start on the center, center of the front, and you're going to build up six, no, seven, sorry. So up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then up eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the center front of the funnel and then either side of that we want uh, so either side on this first block here we want up six one two three four five six and then nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then eight one two three four five six seven eight and five one two three four five like that and to do the same the other side on the other side of that center so do the six one two three four five six and then the eight nine sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine and then the eight one two three four five six seven eight and then the five one two three four five and there we go so that's both sides of the center and then one block out again to the next row which is this block here we want to build up five one two three four five and then three one two three and then eight 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then I'll do the same the other side again. So it's up five, one, two, three, four, five, up three, one, two, three, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So that's that one there. And then the next row along, which is the outside, you want to build up three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that. So same the other side, up three, one, two, three, and up two, one, two, like that. So that's the front half of the ma of the funnel done. Now we move on to the back of the funnel. So it's a slightly different design for this side. So on the back centre now. Back centre, we want to go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in front of that, we want, uh, I want, I want eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it goes to the same height as the front of the funnel, so it looks something like that. And then the next row along, or the next block along, which is this one here, same on both sides, we want 6 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I do the same the other side of that. So it was up the 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there we are, that's that first row done. Now move on to the next row, which is up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, and then the 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that connects to the front half. That's fine, I'll do the same the other side. So up the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. And then the last row, you just on the on the outside, you just go up uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then the 2, 1, 2, like that. And that joins the front and back on the sides. So same on the other side, up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then the 2, 1, 2, like that. And there we go, there's our first funnel in place. And all you need to do now is just go on the inside and fill in all those gaps. So go on the inside here and fill in those gaps there and then the next gaps. It's similar to what we've done with the hull of the ship. So just go on the inside like I'm showing you and just fill in all the gaps. Up to the top there like that. And then I'll just do the same on the next, on the other side, sorry. There we go, there's the funnel all filled in. So it should, in theory, look something like that. So it's a bit of a weird design, but there you go, there's a funnel anyway. And uh, it don't look too bad. So that's the first funnel almost done. So what we need to do now is just go to the top now and add the black cap to it. So what we do, we add black blocks to the top of the white around like so. And then cap it off in the middle. So it's basically just an extra layer of blocks on the top. And then what you want to do then is just build out one block all the way around. So just to create a sort of top hat sort of thing or a sort of a flange over the top. So it's basically just a one block overhang like so. And it should look something like that. So it's basically the black cap on the top but with extra blocks around the edge. So it looks something like that. And then top center, we want to add the cross. So on the center block, we'll add a block there and then build a cross like so and then you build that to four high so two three and then four high like that and that is the top of your funnel and that is pretty much all the funnel done so you want to do that exact same design I just explained very badly on the other side so you do the other funnel exactly the same and you should have a pair of them in place then and in theory that should all work so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do a jump cut while I sort out the other side and then we can move on to uh, the other details. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the two funnels in place. I just copied it across. So what we need, what we need to do now is add the details in between. Um, anyway, in theory, you should have it both looking like that. Uh, so we need to add the details. So we go down to in between the two funnels at the bottom here, and along the top of these um, sections here, these uh, four high sections 
on the side on the inside of the funnels from the top corners of these two sections you want to build in white blocks all the way across like so join them together like that and then do the same on the other side join them together like so so you basically got a bridge like that and then you add the cover across the top like that so you have something like that and then what we want to do now is uh, on the inside on the two blocks on the inside here you just want to add a line of black blocks going across the full width of the thing like so. So it's on the inside two blocks of the roof so so we'll add two rows of black like so so, yeah, so you've got the, uh, the roof like that covered and then you've got the inside black like that same on the other side you can see black is covered up like that and then with your slabs you want to add a line of slabs along the bottom like so then halfway up again add another set of slabs and then halfway up again another set of slabs so it creates the uh, vent like that it's sort of uh, an aircon or ex extractor fan uh, vents and do the same on the front and our slabs across like so and then halfway up again and then halfway up again and there we go there's those two connected funnels like that with a vent in between and you can get rid of that block there now, you don't need that. And it don't look too bad. It's right, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's those two funnels connected. Now we need to go up to the top now and add the aerofoil, which is sort of a Formula One style wing. And we're going to go to the top, or just below the black cap at the top, and we're going to count down uh, to the fourth block down. So one, two, three, fourth block down like that. And then on the front block actually. So on the outside edge here, you can see it's a down four, one, two, three, four, and then add a line of slabs across from one funnel to the other like that and then make that two thickness like so and then down one block again or half a block again add another uh, two thickness wing like so and that joins those two funnels together at the top and it looks something like that it looks pretty good I thought um, yeah, looks alright. And then on the top, on the centre block of the top wing, we'll add another slab, and then we're going to add 10, is it 10 or 15? I think it's 10 black blocks up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Make it 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, up like that. So it creates a sort of centre mast, like so. And that's your, ma uh, your mast funnel extractor fan Formula 1 wing thing, like that. Very modern. But also very old because an old ship. I think the yeah, Rotterdam is a fairly old vessel, but uh, the, the the funnels are pretty modern looking, and I think they're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that thingy. What's it done there? And uh, I can't think of what else to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to admire what I've just built there, and I'm gonna, then I'm going to do a jump cut because I don't know what to do next, and then we can move on to something else. So um, back in a moment. Right, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the ship's forecastle and front details of the ship. Uh, this is going to be a bit more awkward than usual. Well, not really awkward, just more of a pain in the ass than usual, but I don't really understand why. Um, so what we're going to do first is add some windows to the front wall underneath the ship's wheelhouse. So on the, you can see the wheelhouse there, and you're going to add this, you've got this wall underneath. We're going to add some windows to that. And uh, First of all, I need glass, which is always helpful. Uh, so on the... Uh, front wall here we're going to add four single windows so we'll go from the center go out two and then add a window there and a window there same the other side a window there and a window there so you've got four windows on the front like that and then on the next wall along on the outside you want two windows so we'll add uh, a window and a window like that and then on the next two walls we'll add a single window so a window there and a window there so that's on the front on the front top so we do the same the other side so we should add a window there and a window there and then a window there. Actually, I screwed that up. Want a window there instead? Replace that and then put a window there. There we go. So there's our front windows on the top uh, part of the superstructure, and it sh <laughs> should look something like that. And then on the next deck down, actually go to the bottom of the next deck down because this wall here consists of two decks. So we're going to go to the bottom part of it first. So you've got this big wall here, like so. And on the bottom of it, we want to add. Uh, and we want to add six windows so from the center go out one and want to add 
uh, one window which is two blocks high and then two windows and then three windows so it's one side like that and then do the same the other side so one window two windows and three windows like that so you've got six windows along the bottom like that and then on the next wall along which is this part here we want uh, three windows so we'll add one two and then three there which kind of looks odd but there you go so it's six three and then on the next wall we want one here and then on the next wall we want one there without doing any damage so there we go so it's six three one one so do the same the other side so we've got the six already we just want the three one two three and then one and one like that so that's the uh, bottom set of windows done like that and then for the next deck up I can't exactly remember where where these windows are so I've got to make I've got to work out where the deck is first so the deck is ah, so there's the deck there so we need to go two above that like that so there's where our first area is so on this front wall here uh, for the next deck we don't add any windows so we need to replace that block there so this front wall we don't add any windows at all what we do we go to the next walls along and we just add the three one two three like that so three windows there and then the one one on the other side so one and one there like that so it's three one one on each side so do the same on the other side we just add the three like so and then the one and then the one like that so there we are there's all our windows in place and it should in theory look something like that it looks a bit odd I know but there we go not sure why that is blank um, that's just how it was in the photographs and in the models that I, uh, I looked at so we'll just go with it anyway so there we are so what we want to do now is to move down to the deck of the big wall there onto this deck here and go to the center block of the superstructure and we're going to add a cargo hatch so we're going to leave a, uh, a one block gap so count two forward and we're going to build our cargo hatch which is seven wide so that's center block plus three that way and three that way the sides are seven so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and then join them together like so across the front and then the center three blocks on the top we just double in height like so, so you just add a row of three by three by three along the middle like so and then either side of that we need our quartz slabs uh, just add our slabs on the top like so well on the sides rather like that and the same the other side so it's just, it's like a, a traditional cargo hatch from all of my ships really and there we go there's that hatch done there and it don't look too bad now we move on to the next job which is to add a staircase to the front of this uh, wall on the next deck below um, what we're going to do is remove three wood blocks on the front on the three white blocks sorry on the top here so the, the center three blocks like that remove that and then replace with three 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 wood blocks like that and then from there you're going to add stairs going down either side so I get our wood stairs which are always handy and like I say we're going to add stairs going down like so to the deck below like that and that's how you want it so three uh, two sets of stairs like so that way and then or two thickness sets of stairs like that and then down the other side like so and there we go there's our two sets of stairs like that and then from each stair you just want to add uh, from the bottom you just add banisters going two up two up two up two up and then the other side two up two up two up two up join them together across the front like that across the top and then in the space here you just fill this up with white blocks to uh, fill in the gap and fill in the space and there we go there's our cargo, uh, cargo hatch our staircase is done like so and it should look something like that and then from the top of the stairs on this front wall we just built we can add our handrails which are iron bars so handrails across the front like that and then for the rest of the walls on or, or the rest of the the top of the walls on this curved wall here around to the side we can just add a wall of white blocks around the edge 
like so. And then we go around to the side like that. And then do the same the other side. So from the top of the stairs, just go all the way around to the other side. And there we go, that's that side done, and that's that wall added. There will be another wall to go on the next deck above, but we'll sort that out another day. Um, but anyway, that's the uh, that's those bits done there. So what we want to do now is to add uh, the cranes. Now these cranes go on the forecastle as well. So we're going to go to the bottom of the stairs. This is the same on both sides because there's two cranes. So go to the bottom of the stairs and go to the stairs, the, the, the line of stairs to the closest to the back of the ship. So that's the front one, that's the back one there. So go from this back bottom one here. Uh, this is on the right hand side by the way. So the back bottom stairs and then from there you're going to count out nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then put a uh, put a block there like that. And I'm trying to work out how this goes. So that's where we want to build it roughly. Um, so we want to build two forward, or basically one, and then one again, and then two at the side, two at the side, and then two at the back like that. So you've got a design that looks something like that. So I do the same on the other side, just to get the base in place. So it's from the bottom of the stairs, nine out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Build two like that, and then two back, two back, two back like that, and there you go. There's the two um, crane bases in place. Now to build the crane up, you're going to extend these sections here to uh, 14 high. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the same all the way around. So increase them all to 14 high. All the way around. Like so, and do the same with the next rows along. So, oh, I missed one. There we go. So that's all 14 high now. It should look something like that. And then in the, the center two blocks, so these two blocks here, you want to extend them up by uh, by another 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that. So it's 10 high like that. And then around the top, you just add black cap like so. Like that and then two black blocks on the top like that and there you go that caps off the top of the mast or the crane body and it should look something like that you do the same with the other one on the other side so you have two cranes and then for the crane arm you go back down to the bottom and we're going to go to the fourth block up so uh, one two three fourth block up and then one to the side either side because there's going to be two rows of these we're going to build uh, eight rows of three forward and diagonally so you build one two three that's one and then diagonally inwards that's one already so they want one two three one two three that's three one two three one two three one two three that's six one two three one two three so that's eight rows of three like that and do the same the other side of the mast one two three 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 and then join them together like that so there you go there's your crane arm like so or well, yeah crane arm basically and it should look something like that you can readjust that to make it look a bit more crane like say so remove that line of three there and replace and just leave it like that so it's, it's, it's odd how it's shaped I mean it's diagonal you can make it straight out if you want to but just it's gonna look a bit odd or if you want to have it curving have it go straight forward but up diagonally up so it's up to you how you want to do it it's entirely up to you how you want the mast to, or the crane to uh, look? Um, but yeah, it's it's, an, it's uh, you know it's just a visual thing, so it's not ha it doesn't have any use, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a design thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I sort out the mast on the other, or the crane on the other side rather, and then we can move on to the next details. So uh, back in a moment.
Right, okay, so there's both cranes on both sides, and it should, in theory, look something like that. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. Love that philosophy. Right, so what we're going to do now is go back down to the stairs, or the, or the front wall of the stairs, and we're going to add a cargo hatch. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to leave, from the centre block of the front wall, we're going to leave a three block gap. So one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we should build a cargo hatch, which is seven wide. So that's centre block there, plus three that way three that way and the sides are uh, 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then across the front and then like the cargo hatch on the top up there you just build the three center blocks three or three center blocks all the way along the length of the cargo hatch like so plus the slabs either side like so and the same the other side there we go that's that uh, hatch done and then after the hatch we want to add the breakwater which is sort of a, a wall which di it goes diagonally out to the side it's basically deflects the waves when they crash over the top so from the front of the cargo hatch we want to leave another three block gap so four blocks forward of the hatch so one two three four we build our, our breakwater here. So that's the centre block. And it's going to be nine wide. So that is four either side. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And then you want to build that to two blocks high. So two blocks high, like so. And then out to the side, diagonally back, you want to build uh, rows of four. So I think it's four rows of four. So we go one, two, three, four. And then down under the next bit, one, two, three, three, four. In theory, it should be right over the top of where the uh, the deck changes in height. And I'm st stuck under there, so it's four, four, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four out to the side like that. And that's the the breakwater. And you want to increase that to two blocks high, all the way around. And I'm currently stuck under the bloody crane. So the first three rows of four are two blocks high, and then the last row of four is just one and a half high because you put slabs on the top. So do the same the other side without the crane getting in the way, hopefully. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The last four is one and a half high, and the other three are two high. Like so. And there's your, your breakwater. And then on the front of the breakwater, on the centre, we could build two blocks forward like so, two blocks high. And then build it one block out to the side, two blocks high, and then two like that just makes it a bit bulkier and a bit more um, uh, diverting you know make it, it helps channel the water sideways not a very good breakwater I must admit it's more of a, a barrier than a, a, a blade but there you go anyway that's the breakwater done and now what we can do now is add uh, we can add chains now the cargo, uh, anchor chains so we're gonna go four four forward of the uh, the breakwater so count four blocks forward so one two three four and then one to the side and it's the same on both sides so add two black blocks there like that so four forward one out to the side so add two blocks like that and you're going to build these black blocks uh 23 long so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and then cut into the deck 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21, 22, 23, like that. And do the same with the other one. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So you've got two lines of black like that. And then what you want then is to get your, or get anything really, you can get, um, where is it, stone, I think it's stone brick stairs. I can never find them in here. Right there, you're right. Oh, there we are. Stone brick stairs. What I use, I use these as the anchor chain or chain link. So on each black block or every other black block, you put stairs like so. Space them out by one block. Like that. And then on the other, and then uh, on when you go back the other way, turn the stairs around, and you have stairs facing the other way. It, it sort of makes it look like chain links, but not very good chain links, if you know what I mean. 
from certain angles it does look all right but uh, like I say it's not brilliant and you do the same on both sides add your chain links and then turn them around like so and there you go there's your chain links like that and then at the end of the chain links at the front end add uh, two blocks in the middle plus two out plus one two out plus one it basically creates an E shape for the chains to attach to basically that's where the, the, the chains will go inside the ship and then come out the side where the anchor would be I'm not adding an anchor to this one because uh, I don't normally it's only the Bloemfontein castle which I've added an anchor to so that's where we're going to start later on right so that's the chains done so what after after that we want to add basically just uh, smaller details so we're going to add a couple of uh, go slightly forward of the chains and add a couple of uh, masts like so although probably spaced out a bit better so three uh, two masts there like that little things like that and then roughly halfway along the chains add a couple of blocks sort of like that I'm not really I'm not really putting them in any specific any any specific placement because I haven't on the prototype and I'm not written it down I'm just putting these in sort of random places just black blocks to mark out as detail um, but yeah it's up to you how you want to do this Um, I think that's about right isn't it I'll do a bit further one out there um, I think that's better so there's a bit of detail there and then what we could do then is in various places add bollards now for the bollards I use anvils because they're pretty good for the uh, anvils they're pretty good for the bollards so I'll add three sets of bollards um, along the side of the ship so a pair up there uh, another pair a bit further back um, about there and then another pair just behind the breakwater roughly about there and there we go so there's three pairs there on that side so I do the same the other side a pair of bollards just there another pair a bit further back about there I think and then the last pair just behind breakwater there so there we are there's the pretty much all the detailing done for the folk so it's not not a lot of detail but you can add as much as you want just look at some models or photographs of the ship and there's plenty to go on um, and there we go so the last detail job for the folks or really is just to add the handrails so we'll go from the tip of the bow and we'll count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then on the 13th block is where we add our handrails. So we'll add our handrails from the 13th block back. And add our handrails. Go along, along the side of the ship. And wherever there's a block missing where the handrails are attached, just put a block in. And then put the handrails on top. Like so. And then the handrails go all the way back. Past the breakwater up to the uh, front of the superstructure so I just get these handrails in place quickly There's the handrails that are added on that side, and it should look something like that. So do the same the other side quickly. I'm actually, sorry, I'll do a jump cut. Oh, not a jump cut. I'll do a copy paste. Otherwise, I'd be here all day doing it. So I'll just quickly copy, flip, and paste to the other side. Bear with me on this one. And it will actually copy everything else, I think. So just bear with me. So I shall stand here and just go copy, flip, paste. And there we go. There's our handrails on both sides. And uh, it don't look too bad. That's the theory, anyway. So last job for today is just to add some porthole windows on the uh, white superstructure. So we're going to go to the back of the superstructure on the well, to the very back of the ship, basically, and just add some windows along the each side. So on the white section, just just where it attaches to the grey. So down to these last windows on the back here, on the these white windows on the white superstructure, just in front of that. We're going to add glass blocks, which I've always put away. And we're going to add glass blocks every sort of fourth block. So on the top of the 
one block above the grey, so you've got uh, one block, one white block between the white and the grey, or between a window and the grey. You're going to add a window every fourth block along the side to the front, roughly to where the folks will start to curve upwards. So you'll say every fourth block, just a window along the side here, and it should all look fine. So if you do this on both sides, and uh, everything should fall into place. That's the theory, at least. So to do do this quickly. And then I'll copy it to the other side. Oh, got bloody hiccups again. Not sure if it's just trapped wind or it's a heart attack, I don't know. Preferably a heart attack. Wouldn't mind one of those right now. Give me something to think about. doing damage as well along the way. Um are we nearly there yet? Yeah? yeah nearly there. I'm getting bored of this already. Um like I say I'm getting bored of this and I think we can sort of stop just about there, I think. Because now the folks will start to curve upwards, and that gap is one block too many, so I replaced that one. And there we go. So that's all the windows in place down the side, and it should look something like that. That's the theory, at least. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly copy these to the other side. So I'm just going to put a couple of red blocks out like that, and then copy from there. And then I just uh, copy, flip, and paste it to the other side. Get all these windows in and out. And then uh, I'm going to call it a day. And then do, 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 do. so I'm going to copy right from the back of the ship. Get those windows in place. So we do uh, copy. Hang on. Yep. And then flip. And then paste. All right. So that should have worked so in theory. And. Yep, all the windows are in place on that side. So there we are, that's all those windows done. And they don't look too bad. So that is all I'm going to do for today. We've got quite a bit done. So we've got the masts, funnels, cranes, foxhole, and other shit like that done. And they don't look too bad. So it'll be one more part after this. I don't can't remember what part this is. This is part six, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, whatever part this is, the next one will be the last video. And I'm not going to do any more after that. I was going to add the yellow stripe, but... Uh, I don't seem to really be any point to that because it's just a small cosmetic thing and anyone can add any detail they want to it. But uh, there we go. Uh, and also a quick shout out to, or a quick hello to Quinlan Shank who uh, sent, sent me a kind email the other day. Just wanted a quick shout out to him. So hello Quinlan Shank. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's our little thing done there. So... <laughs> Hi Quinlan. Um, so yeah, for, so for part seven, I think the next part is. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, will be the last part. It will be the lifeboats, propellers, rudder, uh, other details as well. There's got to be a, a pool on the back, uh, on the stern. So that'll be for the next part as well. And uh, basically just tidying up any loose ends. So that'll be for part seven, I think it is. Um, and as before, if you're going to be building this as part of a downloadable project, a post on social media, a a video on YouTube or a conversion to other games and of course don't forget to leave credit for the original design that's all I ask and also consider becoming a patron because YouTube keeps squeezing my pips on earnings for this year and uh, I'm gonna start sort of not be monetized anymore I think that's gonna be the process so consider becoming a patron help fund this channel keep it going because if there's no money coming in then I'm just gonna stop so uh, yeah so that's a message to YouTube really because uh, they're the ones fucking things up but there you go um, but yeah, if you, if you want to become a patron, then fine, that's, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it, but you don't have to. Um, but anyway, that is it for part six, I think this is. So for part seven, like I say, will be the final part. So this is Rich, signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return with the next part. So uh, ta-ta for now.